for your furry friends. Hey everybody, Sean here and welcome to Revealing Truth. And special thanks to Mark Scott for sharing this. In today's video, Catherine is going to call out someone in her own church for doing the exact same things she does. Hypocrisy at its finest. Some people refute themselves. So there's no need for anything but to watch this video for yourself. So I have something, an important matter that I need to discuss with all of you at Fivefold Church, those of you here in LA, and those of you that are planted across the world, and just anyone who has attended or attends 5F events, Flourish conferences in here. Um, there's been a member at 5F Church here in LA. Um, she also volunteers. She's been volunteering here as well. She has rebelled against leadership. Her name is Pam Malone. And she's done many things that have hurt several people here at this church in LA and worldwide. Um, these things that she has done has caused hearts to be hurt and also has caused confusion in, spiritually. The ways in which she has rebelled is acting as a mentor, a leader, calling herself an apostle and prophet at times, and portraying herself as a leader at 5F Church. And with this, doing things such as correcting people who many times were not asked to be corrected, and corrected wrongly and in a way that was um, not gentle, but uh, abrasive, um, also, she has uh, spoken in a way that was insinuated or spoken directly that this is a prophecy over people, directional. Um, at, at times, prophesying someone's calling as an apostle, which was not the correct prophecy at that time to, to prophesy. Um, she has also just spoken many different directional things that has caused people to be confused and draw back and be insecure. Um, she has also so many times boasted about her anointing and giftings and pointing people towards herself. Um, some of the ways that she has done this is sharing with parents, telling parents, that parents here at 5F Church who have been here for a, a long time, telling them that their children won't look in her eyes because of the anointing in her, insinuating that they have demons in them and the demons won't look at her in her eyes because of her anointing. She's also placed herself above others and made them feel less than. So, all of these things are generally, there's more, but these are the general actions that have been repetitive and have caused harm. The main thing being doing these things behind the back of leadership and doing things you're not sent out to do. And therefore misrepresenting Jesus, 5F, me as a leader, but confusing people, making them because they think that she is a leader because of how she portrayed herself. And also she has volunteered at 5F and the 5F events. So f months ago, many months ago, is when these actions uh, came to my attention. And I sent Jean Tal to speak with her, to share with her, these things that she was doing, some of these things that she was doing, why they were wrong, and that she has to change. She can't keep doing these things. There was not change after Jantel speaking to her, so then I spoke with her multiple times. Um, I also taught a message pertaining directly to all of these matters in June called Purity in the Church from Lukewarm to a true disciple, where I spoke very clearly on all of these things that I just mentioned, 
these things should be common sense when one has humility and not even really need to be spelled out. Um, but in the message, I really spoke it clearly and brought it as a warning and correction. After that message, I also spoke to those who volunteer, who serve, and I shared with them even more in depth and reiterating what I shared in the message about how all of these things of portraying yourself as a leader, pointing people to yourself, uh, and doing all of these things um, is out of order and is really, really has to stop if it's being done in any way. After that, I then spoke to her personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and I reiterated again. And I warned her, you have to change or you will be asked to not come back because this is very serious. So that was in June, and since then, I have not seen true repentance. There were words sharing that, yes, I will do differently, but there was not a change in the actions and there was not also confession of, of these things that have been seen and reported. There have been many reports that have come in. More than 50 people have reported from here in LA and around the world. They've reported ways that they have been harmed and hurt by her actions and some being very confused spiritually by her actions. And so I then had a meeting with her, with Jantal and other, some other members of the serving team. And I went, we went over some of these reports with her. She denied most of these things, these reports that she didn't do them, that they were just made up. Yet, 50, those 50 of reports, they all coincide with the same type of behaviors. And in some cases, there were actually witnesses to the individual reports. So the problem was that there was not a confession of these things that we knew were absolutely happening. And there was also not a real change in stopping these things. Wayfair helps all of us 